Hello everyone, um, today I have quite the thing coming in today. First off I did a video about the layout and then later today I got the engine I wanted to run on the layout. So I've heard many problems about this engine but I haven't found any. Well yet so far. I've heard that this unit's quiet but uh, let's just take that sound. I think that's a good enough sound level. Um, I do believe. Yeah. And it's just about yeah. there's the ditch lights. I can't really see them from this angle. Move the camera slightly. I do have those on the bar. Got my full frame. Okay. So, there we are. So, lights dimming bright. Eight is, of course, making it quiet. There it is. Uh, four, zero, main light. So, I'll turn that off for now. Actually, I'm not sure why I did that. I was going to show you running it back and forth using speed steps. So, at 128, it should run out smoothly. So, here, so let's see how smooth I can get this running. This is crappy, easy track, so let's just see here. Yeah, it cuts out, but still. When it does go, it is smooth. So we go backwards now. You can see it's fairly smooth for the crappy track it's on. Oh, I haven't cleaned this yet either. And I think it cut out there. Yes, we did. I just kind of don't have the greatest setup right now, as you can see. Yeah. But it does appear to be working. Um. When I see this in the mail, I was expecting some defects with the engine, such as the headlight sticking out too far, or crack something, something wasn't working, but I received this, it was fine, I had no problems, and there it was again. I assure you of the problems I'm having now, it's just the crappy easy track I have set up. I didn't bother to clean it. Probably should have. Probably can't hear me either. But I don't have any problems with this locomotive. Paint sign works well. It moves nice and smoothly. The sounds are kind of delayed, but can work on that. I'm gonna go back and forth. Uh, there we go, that might help. So I think I'm gonna mute that now and actually take a look at the details. Oh, that one. There we go. I'll take that off of there. Move the tripod out of the way. Take a look at those details because I have heard stories where headlights are sticking out and oh boy. But the ditch lights, those are completely flush. Um, up there. 
that's just flush. All the small details are on there. The paint is nice and crisp. Um, but it's very nice. Very nice. I'd say it's a good engine, worth my money. Could I have got it cheaper? Probably. So that's all I have to say, so that's it.